in five, four, three, <laughs> two. Greetings from Brooklyn, New York. We are Borscht Bus. Okay, do it again without without doing it. <laughs> no, why? It shows character. I like want to see character. That was good. Okay. good. My name is Yoni Lotan. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm 26 years old. It's Jester Roll from Brooklyn as well, 27 years old. My name is Solomon. I live in Manhattan, and I'm 29 years old. Yoni and I went to summer camp together as young people. A Jewish summer camp. And then Jeff and I were in a band together as older people. A Jewish and, band. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't a Jewish band. And now we, uh, we're, we're friends. Oh, we're all friends. We're all friends. Kind of. <clears throat> we all love uh, Eastern European food. Uh, it's, it's home. Comfort food. It's, it's comfort our food. comfort food. It's warm. It's delicious. And I would choose that type of food over any other food any day. And no one knows much about it. We need no, to show the world how much it has to offer. But like home, home, home Jewish cooking. Like grow up cooking with my mom and kishka and all. Nobody knows what kishka is, and it's one of the best things I've ever tasted in my really entire good. life. You know, we want to focus on the ingredients, focus on the flavor, bring out those elemental, hearty. Push, punch you in the kishka flavors that our grandmas made for us that we grew up associating with home and with history and with getting money later in the night and producers of the great food truck race we have all watched this show you guys make the show so you know what it takes to win it we know what it takes to win it we know that it's not just about food. It's about the ability to deal with adversity, to improvise, to find parking, to find places where there are people, and to overcome a tremendous amount of on-the-fly obstacles. And to always smile even when it's a bad day. So, just to break it down for you, Yoni, is a professional people person. He's a stand-up comedian. It's extremely hard work. He's an actor. He has a thousand Facebook friends. People love him. He's extraordinarily charming. Look him up on YouTube. R train. R train! Woo! Our train is the R train! Swatch! Exercise! One of his central attributes is his ability to go out into the street and engage with people. I can do it. He is going to bring people to our truck. Yeah. Number two is that the truck will be parked in the right location. Number three, because of me, it will have functioning gas lines, it will have four wheels on it, and I will have cut vegetables according to what Jeff told me to cut. Which leads to the next number. Which is three. And Jeff is a chef in a fine dining establishment founded by the most famous bald chef in all of TV... The food TV world. You know, and it's you, who, and that's you know. who. You, yes, and that's who. Who you think it is is who it is. <laughs> the bald guy. He works in his restaurant. I grew up cooking a lot, and then I came to New York a couple years ago, and I've actually been cooking in a bunch of different kitchens for about three years now, and just got my ass kicked and getting burnt a whole lot. And Jeff gets burned a lot. It's really bad, actually. In the kitchen it's, of it's pretty gross. Arguably one of the top five, and certainly. Uh, among the top ten best restaurants in New York, it's really brutal. serious stuff. It's fun. It's good stuff. Really hot stoves. Real hot. Real hot. You can see the battle battle wounds. Yeah, all the hair is starting to grow back here. It's all gone. Everything so what exactly? Burning. That's just oil just flying out here. All this is like yeah, that all these little dots is oil splattering. Oh, all these man. lines are like reaching into an oven and like touch the top of it. 
and then all this is I have a big burner here, and it's just every time I reach over, it just burns. So, so are you at the point where you just like it happens? You don't even like flinch, but you're just like oh. you can't really do it. Like you basically hear like and like a burn, like oh, shit, that that's gonna leave a mark. But like you can't do anything. Like you're in the middle of doing a thousand things, you just oh. gotta keep on. Yeah, you don't really have a choice. Oh. And like this, actually, I went to grab something because I knew that to, uh, I went to grab it apart that I knew wasn't hot. And then my hand touched the hand. This touched the handle of it. It was super hot. I didn't even know about it just because of that. Oh, For one second, fly back. It was it was a little teeny little thing too. I was like, and it hurt like a bitch. But like, yeah, now I have this, and it looks like I'm on meth. <laughs> yeah, it does. But, yeah. yeah, it looks like you're on meth. It's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, borscht bus you gotta have borscht. We will have borscht. We'll have at least a hot borscht and a cold borscht. We may have mm. some other iterations, but uh, well, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep it classic, but we're gonna refine it. We're gonna make it nice. We're not gonna we don't want to mess with anything too much. We want to just take the time to make them as good as they can be. Kreplach. There. So kreplach is it's similar to a um, a pierogi. Uh, it's a it's a dumpling filled with traditionally meat. I was thinking of doing like a, a chicken skin and shallot or. Since it's gonna be spring, maybe we throw some peas and like a pea puree in there, like something, something real nice. <laughs> but we will do some variation of lunch. Oh, we need. Yeah. There will be much fried potato in the situation. There'll be fried food. Is what we're getting. <laughs> we're, there's gonna be smoked fish of various oh. kinds, and we're gonna do it ourselves. Sable, salmon, sturgeon. These will all be on the menu if we can get them. Salmon's fishy. always available, and we do a mean. We can buy salmon at Costco and make it taste great. I mean, we've done it before, and we'll do it again. Just put salt on it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be great to bring Eastern European cooking to the rest of America uh, in, a, in a way that's accessible, in a way that can, you can eat in your hand, that you can give to your kid to taste their first intestine, and... Um, which is which is which is a challenge that we think is going to be interesting to yeah, see because it's like not only explaining to you know average middle America Joe who doesn't know what kishka is explaining Where's it to the them Shiba? giving it to them and then having them try it and love it. and maybe like it and love, and love it, it which they should because it's awesome salt and fat is. The universal language of love. Mm. Cheers, cheers to fat. Cheers to salt and fat. I will be giving up my very stable job in uh, at a global research company, advertising research company. Um, I'll be leaving my wife in the lurch yeah, for six wife. weeks. Oh my god, he's got um, too. And he's I'm also books. working on a, a, a mobile application, oh. which is going into beta really shortly and I would just completely disappoint all of my colleagues uh, by just leaving town for six weeks. So my wife is going to be so mad at me. Well, ah, we'll, we'll and if we won, and his, she his, wouldn't be mad. And if we yeah. didn't win, she would be mad. And his wife will be so mad at me too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a very competitive person in general. Uh, I, I'm very jealous, I'm a very negative and angry person. And I just want to be number one all the time. So be specific. Uh, specific about my competition. Uh, I don't know. Like I'll if I lose a game of cards, I'll curse really loudly and walk out of the room and not talk to anybody for like a few minutes. Okay, Jeff. I don't think I am a very competitive person. I love to do what I love, and I love to do it well. And I hope. To, I mean, I make things that I think are the best, and. I guess the world judges the thing that they do, but yeah, of course I want to be the best and make the best food ever, but uh... uh I argue with my wife very often about who's right about stuff, and if she says that I'm wrong, I'll throw a temper tantrum and <laughs> display extremely embarrassing and, you know, childish behavior. And that's... We're gonna bring it. We're not just gonna bring empty promises either. We have real culinary talent. No, but but more than that, like we have passion. We love this stuff. We love this food. We grew up with it, and uh, we we want to show it. We want to make it as best it can be, and we'll work together and get people together and find the best parking spot. He's gonna rally up all these crazy people to eat this fucking awesome food and. 
Uh, it, it's going to be fun, and it's going to be trouble, and it's going to be awesome. So that's us. Everybody, producers, hands in, hands in, bring it in, bring it in. Porsche bus on three. One, two, three. Porsche bus! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs>